there's not much that you can do with them if you want to say change your primary domain name or add additional storage to the account or get access to support these accounts are a bit of an island so in general i recommend if you're running a business avoiding these accounts i'm using my domain on a legacy free g suite and it works for me i have another domain that's their domain there hosted on godaddy but i want to use it on g suite as a secondary domain presumably in the legacy free G Suite account. Can I use one Google Calendar for both domains to receive and send calendar invites from respective domains? Okay, this is an interesting question because there's a couple of bits to answer this and to answer it properly, we're gonna have to get a little bit technical, but that's okay. So many, many years ago, and I'm talking more than a decade ago, Google Workspace used to be free and it was free for the first 50 users. I think some accounts 15 years ago got like 500 users, but it was free for the first 50 users and they let you set up your own domain name. Now they are called legacy workspace accounts and there's not many of them left because Google basically didn't add any new features to that for many, 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 many years. They even threatened to take them away, but there was an uprising and Google have left these free accounts stay there out in the wild. However, there's not much that you can do with them if you want to say change your primary domain name or add additional storage to the account or get access to support these accounts are a bit of an island so in general i recommend if you're running a business avoiding these accounts bite the bullet pay for a paid license i know it's been free for a long time and free is always wonderful but if you can't get access to support if something goes wrong you still may not get access to support even if you upgrade it to a paid account afterwards there's some intricacies and technicalities there but most of all you're missing out on good features if you've not yet upgraded. If you haven't yet switched over to a Google Workspace plan that allows you to, for example, record your meetings in Google Meet, well, you're missing out on one of the best features. If you're not using shared drives, then you're missing out on one of the best features of Google Workspace. So my first recommendation is to upgrade. Now, if you have a legacy account right now, and in this person's case, they want to set up an additional domain name as a secondary domain. I think you can add additional domain names to a legacy account. I haven't done it in about a decade, but I think you can still add an additional domain name. What you can't do is you can't change the primary domain name of the account, which may be a blocker for some people. And that's part of the reason why some of our customers decided to get rid of their legacy account and switch to a full paid account. You can't change the primary domain. I believe you can add a secondary domain though. Now, if you do add a secondary domain to a workspace account, irrespective of if it's a legacy account or if it's a new account, you do have some limitations with that. And that is that if you want to run Google Calendar on multiple different Google Workspace accounts, well, if you've got a single mailbox with a single primary email address, you can only ever send calendar invitations from that primary email address. So one mailbox has one primary email. You might have other aliases that come to that mailbox, but unfortunately your calendar invitations only ever go out from that single email address. I think there's probably one that's a good idea for me to draw it just to show you what that looks like. Let's draw my mailbox here and I'm gonna say that's Peter. And let's say this email address is peter at itgenius.com. So that's my primary email address. Now, if I choose to set up an alias, Let's say I want it to be like info at ITG. That will also arrive in my mailbox. We usually call mailboxes buckets of email. So we call this one bucket of email. And basically you pay Google your her monthly fee, her bucket of email, right? So an alias domain or an add-on domain with an alias configured for an individual user will still deliver mail to that mailbox. So my Peter at mail is being delivered there and my other mail is also being delivered there from the info at account as well. When I send email out, I can send from an alias as well as sending from my primary domain. I just set those up in my Gmail settings. So I go to Gmail, I go to my account settings, I go to send mail as and I authorize or set up additional email addresses to send mail as. And then when I go to compose an email inside my Gmail, I can choose between multiple mailboxes. Now, let me show you what that looks like. Let's go ahead and open up my Gmail and I'll show you what it looks like to send from a secondary address. All right, so I'll hit the C for compose and I have a drop down here where I can choose to send from multiple different email addresses that I've registered as sending addresses. But there is one large limitation here and that large limitation is that I cannot send calendar invitations from anything outside of my primary 
email address. So the primary email address on my mailbox is the only one that I can actually send emails from if I'm sending a calendar invitation. That's a limitation. Now, if I wanted to do that differently, let's say I really wanted to send a calendar invitation from a secondary domain or from a secondary address. Well, in that case, I could set up another mailbox. And I'll set up another mailbox over here. And maybe this time, I set up a secondary mailbox for info at. And with that secondary mailbox, I then choose, okay, I am going to send and receive my calendar invitations from this mailbox and I'll share my calendar back to Peter. So the primary calendar of that secondary mailbox will be shared back to my personal mailbox. And that means that I'm able to send an event from that calendar outside of my main mailbox. Now, I've got to pay twice for this because I have to pay for this mailbox and I have to pay for this mailbox, but the system does work if you have multiple domains and you want to be able to send email invitations from multiple different calendar email addresses. The only challenge is now you've got two calendars to manage and that might be an issue. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.